Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing you my February flip poop. Um, I'm actually recording this in April because I just had so much to do um, since January, I guess. So I haven't had time to record a proper flip through so anyways I would probably talk about how my design changed in this current uh, in this month which is February so um what I have been using for my work planners through February is the Hobonichi A6 Weekly supplement in my Muji calendar. And for my personal planner is this um, Tegonal Planner Slim Weekly. And then I had an addition to the planners I have which is the Hobonichi I mean the Take It All pla planner in A6 I got this in February that's why I had I had some changes I thought of using this to replace my um, Hobonichi Weeks Mega I felt guilty of not giving that much chance to this Hobonichi Weeks Mega that's why I decided to use this take an old planner in A6 as a memory keeping planner so let's start with how I used my two main planners which I bring with me every day or how I design it in February, I will first show you how I designed the calendars. So, it's quite um, chaotic because I actually use this as my actual planner, not just for show. That's why you can see how much um, disorganized it is. So these are my calendars. I sort of thought of using a, an OPA themed design in my February spread. So this is my work planner which features Junkie Yong as my main sticker and just this very, very minimalist just sort of put a washi tape and a neutral colored washi tape and a couple of uh, stickers featuring couples because February is the love month as for the Hobonichi Weeks Mega which is my sort of turned into a goal plan planner goal planner or my Planner used to monitor my YouTube contents. So this is my February's February calendar. And then because I mentioned earlier that I sort of had stopped using this for a while and used the um taken out planner in A6, I actually skipped this week's part and now I kind of use this as a practice um, spread where I thought of um, practice how I will use this spread by using different kinds of templates or logs for my future logs 
and then though I got back on the I think third and third or fourth week of February and I started using these kinds of stickers just neutral ones because um, I just think that warm neutral tone stickers best match the paper of this Hobonichi Wix Mega because it is in a creamier side compared to um, the Take On Old Planner Slim Weekly if you can see that the Take On Old Slim Weekly is much wider in terms of paper and then I will also show you so this this was my weeks um, logs or spread in the Hobonichi Weeks Mega and now I'm gonna show you let's cover that my um, cover page the, the thing that I want, wanted when I decided to use the Weeks Mega is I wanted to have a cover page for each month that is why uh, it's because um, I kind of missed that because when I first started um, doing journaling I purchased a an A6 planner that was just blank just has grid lines therefore I had the flexibility of um, designing everything so this is something that I missed and since the Hobonichi Weeks Mega provides a lot of pages pages for the dailies, I thought of um, using this as an opportunity to do the week uh, the cover page. So again, because this is in February and my theme is Opa. Of the love month, I decided to print stickers of my Opa crushes. You know, so these are my top four. This is Yun Bin, Parks, Parks Yo Jun, Jang Ki Yong, and of course, my number one. This is Juji Hoon. So, because I'm on my late 30s, mid mid to late 30s you can notice that these are quite mature or on it on their prime i don't really prefer the younger opus right now i love the mature ones just so you know and then for the designs of my dailies in the Weeks Mega, I don't really have um, consistency in terms of the design because I'm still actually at the point of getting to know this planner, experimenting what looks good on this. That's why there is no cohesiveness in my February spreads. but. I do have some spreads that are my favorites. This would be one in particular. So that's what's going on in my week's mega. Now let's proceed with my um take a note slim weekly, which is my personal planner, which I log my chores. Um, food trackers, my appointments, my outfit trackers, if you may. So, again, because February is an OPA themed, um, OPA themed spreads, again, I had the OPA stickers as my main stickers each week for each spread so 
when I'm designing, I normally um, consider first the main stickers and then all of the other stickers would depend on the main stickers. The color, the designs. That's how I do my designing. So in this first week, I sort of use, used um, greens and blues to complement the sticker of Yunbin and then for the second week I used a lot of neutral brown colors and then for the fourth week again it's neutral toned stickers this one has a lot of darker blues mm. As for the templates I use for per spread, I really don't have any changes since January. It's still um, food logs, chores, the second level, and then activities that are not related to chores, schedules, and outfit for the week. And the lower part is my exercise log or tracker. In here too, it's the same. So basically, it's all the same in, the, in February. Now let's go to my um, memory keeping planner, which is the Take an Old planner in A6. So I will first probably discuss this. So this is the weekly, I mean the yearly index of this planner, which is just currently added because. I think on the I'm not sure if this was on the previous year that they don't have this kind of um, section in this planner so I kind of use this as my mood tracker so before having this planner I used to log my moods in this week's mega which is a calendar section and now I've transferred it in this um, planner and now I am actually using this to monitor my um, YouTube contents the calendar portion of the um, weeks mega and then for the weeklies uh, I mean the calendar this is also consistent with my theme of this month which is Papa themed so this is again Juji Hoon and I kind of like the format of their calendar that's why I really fell in love I think I'm I'm more in love in this with this planner this year because they kind of had some changes so instead of having a very red color in to signify the weekends they kind of adjusted it into a warm or deep brown color so for me since it was it is a neutral shade I guess it's better to complement the color of the paper and the other color of the planner that's why it's an improvement that I really love and I use this to log important um, events of the month normally personal stuff not work stuff and then for the weeklies that I haven't used because again I used the weeks mega on the first month of the year so I thought of using this as my cookie jar section my vision board 
my actually outfit vision board for the year is kind of scattered in this planner this one is home i think home design vision board this one is for my goals this means something to me i'm not gonna tell you yet so in this one also our reminders something my wish lists this also has meanings but i don't wanna share it and then i also loaded a page for my sparkles but i haven't used that um i haven't really posted the pictures yet of the events some of it are just on my phone and i really had um no time to um print it so at least i have titles so i would know what pictures to post and i left some space her page or spread so that when I have time I can update it the important thing is I've done my logs I just think that it's harder to remember those things and it's easier for me just to print the pictures so that's my February um, spreads in this planner and then this is my grateful list planner and bible study planner this is the hobonichi day free this is actually a gift from my best friend who resides in japan and she went home she went back to the Philippines last January and then this is her gift to me. So in this section, I sort of list the important events of the month and we'll get back to that. We'll just go first with the calendar. So my February calendar is designed like this it's in warm brown it's not one of my favorites actually it's too rich for me the, the color of the stickers are too rich for me but somehow i still do it i still cover this red cells just because i don't like it and of course i log everything that i could remember then that, that i'm grateful for on a certain day and then as for my bible study planner i haven't really touched this touched this planner as much as i should have i'm not sure even if i vlog this no this is actually march so shouldn't be discussing it yes <laughs> so that's probably all of my design stuff as for my new learnings for february or the things that i liked about the month is let's cover i actually watched the slum slam dunk movie i used to watch anime of course when i was in my elementary years but i think it's been a lot a lot of years have passed and this is actually my first time watching anime again and i was surprisingly amused and surprisingly elated with the movie i didn't think that i would love it that much but i kind of like it so just in case you haven't watched it try watching it i what i learned is that um i now know what the purpose of sakuragi is when i was watching it 
in the series I really don't know I just thought it was just a nuisance or something like that but um, I that's what I like watching this movie because now I know what um, his purpose is and coach Ansa is really great at reading people this is probably the best and um, of course the unexpected event that happened on that month is me going back to the Pollock because my grandmother passed away so that's why we had to go there it was a very quick trip it was just I think two days so of course all of my plans of using the weekends again is kind of um transferred to the next week but of course this is an important thing that's why i had to prioritize it that would be the last time that i will saw i will see her and um the things that i've tried on this month my first tries would be the um, resto called Star Punjabi, Punjabi. I think it was Daba Star Punjabi, and we had our Valentine's Day in the um, resto because it's an Indian food, and both me and my husband love Indian food. And I also did colored my hair red. <laughs> I don't usually do a lot of styling in my hair. I just think I the minimum would be once a year. And I don't know, I decided to change my hair in February. Just the color though. And what else? We had a, an office transfer. So that's work stuff and then it was quite challenging because in this month i had total of seven cats so three adult cats and four kittens so i just could remember the additional chores brought by the kittens because we had to go to the bed and my one of my older cats also got sick that's why it's quite a lot but now that I've managed to survive that month of course I'm quite thankful I think I also did try a new kind of exercise yes the upper body pilates but actually now i have re returned to my previous mm, exercise routine so that probably is for my february flip through i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did I really like sharing things with you guys. Mm. For any questions, of course, you can leave a comment to this post. And thanks for watching. Until next time.